Today, I want to speak from my heart to yours, woman to woman. I know that some of you are hurting, you're struggling with life. It may even seem that no matter what you do or how hard you try, it feels as if nothing is going to be okay. You have this negative script in your mind that just keeps repeating itself over and over again, telling you that you are worthless, a loser, or even unlovable. I get it. I understand. Now, I'm not a counselor or a professional, but if you would allow me, I would love to share with you what I have learned from personal experience, walking with a dear friend through years of recovery from childhood abuse. You see, I've learned that if you don't get what you need from the adults in your life as a child, you may struggle as an, as an adult. Let's see if I can explain it like this. I believe that when a baby comes into the world, he or she is given a suitcase that's empty. Then it's the job of the adults in the life of that child to pack the suitcase so that when they go out into the world, they'll have everything they need to be successful, well-rounded adult. But what if that's not what happened? Abuse, neglect, and abandonment can all leave those suitcases empty or worse, full of heavy garbage. So instead of these suitcases being filled with good things like self-esteem, coping skills, and positive attitudes, they may be overflowing with negative things such as horrible lies, overwhelming secrets, and negative thinking. As these children grow into adults, they may struggle because they don't have the resources they need. So of course they can't thrive, they can barely survive. But here's the good news. It's not too late to have that suitcase repacked in a way that will help us all on our journey through life. We just need to ask God to pack our suitcases. How do we do that? By being open to the concept of real love, the kind of love that Jesus has for us all. His love doesn't hurt emotionally or physically. It's a kind of love that some of us may have never experienced before, but it's real and it's life changing. 1 John 4, 16. So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love and whoever abides in love abides in God and God abides in him. Notice the scripture says that we have come to know and believe. And what happens next? We abide, or we live in God, and He lives in us. Real love, God's love, is how we can get rid of all the garbage or emptiness in our lives and begin to see just how beautiful life can be. Only Jesus can take us from those dark places and bring us into the light. John 1, 5, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. When we open our hearts to Jesus, His love fades out the darkness, and the light will begin to take its place. The heavy burdens of the past can be put down, and there can be true rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I have so much respect and admiration for survivors. They've endured and overcome more than many of us can even begin to imagine. If you're a survivor, I believe that God loves you in a powerful, protective way. He has seen your suffering and heard your cries. You are all so special in His sight because you were innocent and suffered anyway. While the world may believe your physical and emotional scars make you less valuable, I believe God sees those scars as evidence of your strength and your will to survive. I believe this makes you more special in His sight. I believe that when you see a survivor of abuse, you are looking at a true warrior. So ladies, let's all open our suitcases and allow God's love Jesus' sacrifice, and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to overflow those cases so that they not only contain everything we need to live a life that gives God glory here on earth, 
but will guarantee us a home in heaven with him one day. And there's an extra bonus feature. Our suitcases will be much lighter when it's filled with the love and forgiveness of God. Oh, my sisters, I am so passionate about helping adult survivors of childhood abuse. Please check out our website, and there you will find resources to help both survivors and those that love them. Thanks for watching, and please share this video with other sisters. Until we are together again, never forget that God loves you, and so do I.